What's happening, family? It's your boy, Vic Vic. Welcome back to my back universe. So, let's do a review of The Everyday Speaker by Raycon. Raycon. Power on. All right, family. So, key takeaways I want to bring to you guys as far as a review. If you want to see all the features and everything like that, you can go to this video right here. This card up here up here um, and you can check out the initial unboxing where I go through the features more so in depth but I just want to talk about the nuance of them and their capability or how effective they work I'd rather go down that direction with this video because I've been using them for quite some time for a couple weeks now in fact um, these have replaced the incredible Canon speaker that I was using as a car for this as well you can see that and I've actually been using these speakers in the shower, literally. I leave them in the shower because of their water resistance. I want to see how well they function in that environment. And see if you've got a kid and they haven't put in the tub or if they're playing around and it's in the toilet or wherever there's, you know, water and it gets dunked or it gets wet. Will these still function or you're going to be out of 40 bucks? And I can confidently say these are still function. Um, I was playing these in water. In fact, we'll do a demo and I will uh, fill up the sink with water and I'll place these in there like I did with the Quality Plus speakers. You can check out that video, that card right here. The key things I notice is, is that you don't always have to pair these two. You don't always have to force them to pair. Sometimes they'll just pair on their own, like literally. Like you turn them on and they'll go into multi mode by themselves. Oh, you're here connecting, connecting like you just heard. Connected, connected. Connecting. <clears throat> connecting, connecting, connecting. The two connections are the speakers connecting to themselves. The last one is the speaker, the main speaker, which is the blue one, connecting to your device. And so uh, that's just something to note. It's weird because sometimes it won't connect. Also, another thing I notice is sometimes when you're trying to get it to do multi mode, it has issue. And this is an iPhone 10. It has issues connecting to the main speaker and you literally 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 have to forget the device in the bluetooth settings and then reconnect it repair and reconnect and then everything functions normally and this has actually happened on a couple a uh, couple different occasions so I, it's kind of spotty uh that's one thing i don't like also another thing i notice is the sometimes between when you're in multi-mode it'll lose just signal weird it, it'll 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 lose connection not in the sense that it says disconnected, it'll like the music will play and then it'll drop out and then come back in, drop out and come back in, and then it plays normally, like it streams normally. And that's not even indicative of the device being in proximity. Like I literally had this on the toilet seat. The toilet seat was down, of course, you know. Come on. On the toilet seat, the speaker's not even four feet away. Heck, not even three feet away. And they would do some weird play the music, kind of fade out, come back in, fade out, like it's skipping, like like an old school record. So that's something I don't like. That's something to note if you're doing that. If you, you decide to get these, um, I feel like that's, this is turning into a classic case of you get what you pay for. And I don't like that because I feel like these could be the best bargain speaker, period. Like uh, they do have bass. You just can't feel it. It's a small speaker. It's a small, you know, chamber, if you will. Anybody that knows about speakers, you know, bass, whatever. Um, you can have a small speaker in a, in a well-designed larger box with multiple baffles and chambers and stuff like that and really get big sound out of a small speaker. You're not going to get that big of a sound. At least bass, bass sound out of this. You're not going to get a lot of response from that. But the mids and highs do sound good. Um, you do have, like I said, when you're using it, as I showed in the video, you skip track on here, you volume up here, it, it automatically raises the volume on the other device. So it's not a constant of... Uh, back and forth of trying to get it to function like oh press this volume up and it, and it you got to do it over here no not at all so that's one thing that's good about it uh one thing that was weird i think this is just a quirk this is not a, uh an issue per se but so if you have having issues connecting these and let's just say you don't have them in multi-mode uh you change the primary one to a different sound profile and then you go into multi-mode and the secondary one is in a different sound profile like this one was in bass mode and this one was in balance mode. And literally they played like that. And I was like, what? 
And so I would change it, see if they would sync back up. They would never sync back up. So you have to come in with these two connected, then connect to your device, or you could actually get these out of sync as far as their sound profiles. Interesting to know. Now, my take on these, are these worth 40 bucks? If you're getting one and you're just getting this personal speaker, just something you're gonna have next to you, just for a little bit of music, um, you don't want something in your ears, or if you're at a desk and you can't have anything in your ears, I think these are perfect for that. Uh, I think they will last uh, quite some time. Like I said, they're very durable. Um, they, the water um, resistance rate that they have, I think it's accurate because, like I said, I've literally had these in the shower and they do get wet, wet, wet. Never mind. Anyways, you guys, look, that's the video. Um, stay after the credits for the water test. But other than that, man, look, I like these speakers. Hit the link below to grab yourself a pair. Until next time, peace and black empowerment. recording in slow motion I'm gonna use that footage though so these are wet for me dunking them in all right so real quick uh for the last video when I would dunk them in fast they would lose connection so I'm gonna press them in slow I'll let you hear it then we up and dumping uh honestly I decided that if they come on try me Cussing in it. I don't want to get flagged and get dinged too much, but yeah, these can hold up to water splash them. You guys saw submerge them. Now, like I said, if you just submerge them fast, they'll lose connectivity, but they'll get it back. Uh, these are not meant to be submerged like that, but they handle. So if your kid accidentally dunk these in some, some water on the toilet, you get to it pretty quickly and be all right. And they have propensity to float. A little bit until you fill the water. All right, guys, appreciate you. Until next time, once again, peace and black empowerment.